that's the duty. That's the whole job of the conscious mind. That's what it's clocking in for, is to create life experiences. That's why you ha always have ideas and thoughts, trying to create solutions to things because you wanted to create particular experiences. Now, the purpose of the conscious mind is to learn from those life experiences and feed the understandings of self, life, and the universe and creation to the subconscious mind to make it a permanent part of yourself. So what does that really mean? Like most of the time when I ask people, what lessons are you learning from life right now? A lot of times they'll say things like, oh, not to trust anybody, or oh, that um, I can only rely on myself, or don't allow myself to get uh, over agitated with things. But yeah, those are life lessons, but out of, out of those lessons, what, what has what has it provided you a deeper understanding of? You know, maybe you understand patience a little more. Maybe you understand uh, friendship a little more. Maybe you understand trust in a deeper way than you did before. Maybe you understand communication in a deeper way than you did before. What understandings have you have you gained more understanding of? And so, what happens then? Is here in the physical, our conscious mind, as we gain those understandings, we feed them into our soul for our soul to hold on to that wisdom for the rest of this lifetime and on into future lifetimes. So your soul already has stored in it the wisdom of all the understandings that you've gained through all the life experiences that you've experienced through all of your lifetimes that you've lived before this life. That's why some of us, you know, we're just born understanding things a little differently than other people. You know, other people understand things a little bit differently than us. You know, some people just come into this lifetime understanding charm and luck, and they just, everything falls in place for them. Some people understand prosperity and abundance, and no matter what they do, they always fall into money. You know, some people understand compassion, and so they, they just are more compassionate beings naturally. Some people just understand empathy, and so they're just more empathetic than other people. Some people just understand dreams and dream work. <laughs> and lucid dreaming. So they just come into this lifetime, don't think about it. They just have dream, different dream experiences than anybody else. They don't realize that they're any different until they talk about it. You know, all types of things. I'm sure you can think about the, the, the ways in which you use your mind completely different from other people. You've always been that way ever since a little kid. You know, those are the understandings that you came into this lifetime with. And so that's part of also why I say anytime, any question that you can form in your mind, you can find the answer within. And if you can't find it from the wisdom within the subconscious mind, you can definitely find it from within the wisdom of the superconscious mind. You have these understandings within you that you can access and unlock. Sometimes we set it up before we even come into this life. So let's keep these other understandings inaccessible until a certain period in life or until something happens to then unlock and access these gifts, this knowledge, this wisdom. So sometimes that happens. So that's the purpose of the conscious mind is to store those understandings in there. That's why like food represents knowledge within a dream because you know our food our teeth break them down just like we break down our life experiences and when we do that the food becomes more digestible you know when we break down our life experiences it becomes easier to digest what happened it's easier to swallow that that that, that thing happened when we actually take the time to break it down and then when we do that it's a lot easier to digest it and absorb the nutrients and those nutrients become a permanent part of the body you know, the nutrients from the food, it becomes the blood, it becomes the tissues, it becomes the bones. Then once we do absorb that nutrient, it allows the body to then let go of the waste, you know, that we, the excrement that we then release out. If we don't let it go, it's going to become toxic. Just like in life, when you take those, the, that nutrition, you know, the, the value from the experience after you've broken it down and you feed it into your soul, it becomes a permanent part of yourself. So even after this physical body dies, that knowledge and wisdom is still there, it's a permanent part of yourself. Who did? And then once you do that, though, once you identify the learning, then it's a lot easier to let go of the rest of the experience. Because if you don't let it go, it's going to become toxic.